Hey guys, it's me, your independent Tina Delicious consultant, and welcome back to my channel. I have another brand new haul for you guys today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like, hello, if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Like, seriously, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you like my videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment to show your support for me. So thank you so much. It helps me out in so many ways. So yeah, <laughs> hope you like my intro and, uh, Back to regular mode. Um, today, I have a haul, a uh, very small haul of just two candles from BBW. I was on the hunt for a specific candle and I found it finally. Um, and then, oh my gosh, I don't, like the upload speeds here out in the country are like, oh my God, so, so like literally could take like an entire like 24 hours to upload one video. So the uploading thing is a little bit whack, but um, I think, there's a homeworks haul from Ulta where I bought three candles that should go before this, but in some event it gets mixed up and it doesn't. Um, I have a fourth homeworks candle basically here um, that I was just like, ah, uh, that's just like the fourth one that I really wanted. Like it's a two for 40 in Ulta stores, but they only had three I wanted at one place. So I was just like, I'll just buy the three. I had a coupon, I'll use it. And then if I find my fourth one, I'll just use my uh, reward points for it and then just buy it singularly and just do it that way. So I don't, I don't get like stuck with extra candles that I don't want or whatever but anywho yeah so we'll just get right into it um shouldn't be too long of a video but when I say that there's still like 20 30 minutes but it, it's Tina Delicious, so what do you expect um yeah so without further ado if you're gonna tell from the title uh peppermint sugar cookie is right here this is in that like I don't know this collection with there's like spice apple toddy in winter or like extra additions to it as well as like blueberry sugar frozen lake you know the usual there isn't really a lot in the way of newness, but people are just going crazy with buying candles. And I, I get it because it's like 2020 and everyone's just like looking forward to like holiday times where they're reminded of like bright, happy times. Uh, BBW pushed out Christmas early and also put a BOGO sale on it. And BOGO is a pretty good sale, especially if you have a coupon on top of it. So I understand why people are going bonkers over the Christmas candles, but like in reality, there isn't really anything that's really all that new or a standout as of now. So fingers crossed something better comes up, but once Again, if it doesn't, then whatever. I'll just use my existing collection and call it a day. But the one new-ish intriguing one was the Peppermint Sugar Cookie. Uh, Peach on Earth, that uh, brand Candles and Music on Instagram was raving about. Uh, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, I saw it in like the guide or whatever, but I didn't see it in my store at all. Uh, she was saying this is actually a new good juicy peach scent that she went back to bought multiples of, so I sort of can't wait to smell that one because she is a peach connoisseur. Uh, I think she like loved peach meringue, um, and I really enjoyed that one too, like after it was said and done, so I would be interested in smelling peach on Earth. I did smell frosted winter air, but once again, it's through the mask and it was really light, so I couldn't get much of a read on it. It was slightly like a, I don't want to say, I guess I am trying to say like soapy, somewhat laundry, like powdery, fresh fragrance slight like white floral vibes to it mixed with that kind of like winter air like ozone fragrance it was actually quite nice um it sort of reminded me of like the white florals they use in like beach cabana so like an orange blossom kind of fragrance which is a little bit weird uh but like a powdery white floral mixed with other like christmas winter air fragrances once again it was through the mask and it was super light so i couldn't really get a read on it but i didn't pick that one up but maybe down the line uh there's a yeah fresh winter air i believe uh yeah interested to see how that one actually burns or performs but i just once again it was a very hard read on cold with a mask on um and then there was a frosted forest i believe it's still the other one i think that one's been spotted in packaging similar to this in green wax uh that's the other like new one i don't know what that is either so yeah there isn't at least in the first round there's not really I, I can't even give glowing recommendations of gingerbread marshmallow or the uh, salted caramel eggnog or you're the one. Nothing that is hoard worthy or is at all, at least in my opinion, uh, like worth purchasing more than one of that's new. Of course, there's still like the usual good standbys like vanilla balsam, which is a freaking excellent fragrance, but I still, I have plenty in my collection, so I don't need a new one with a new label on it. So you know what I'm saying. So as of now, but once again, like don't fret. Like I know a lot of people have been asking for winter white woods, which, oh my God, that was like one of my favorites from last season, last Christmas. Uh, I just wouldn't freak out yet because like it's just October, middle of October, and there's so many holiday collections they pump out like so much. Um, and then there's a whole 
candle day release that usually comes as well uh they usually put like a new year's one too there's still so much for the season that i wouldn't freak out yet if you haven't seen something that's your favorite that hasn't returned yet so just an fyi on that i think there was some evidence on instagram of somebody posting like a marble looking another wraparound candle collection that had like cactus blossom um what was it there was Cactus Blossom, Eucalyptus Mint, Strawberry Pound Cake. It was like this marbly swirly wrap around. There's a mahogany, coconut, and black teak with that somebody found. And that person was apparently also working in the factory or something. Uh, there was some evidence of that on social media. Those largely look like candle day uh, pours to me. Usually during candle day, what they do is they will pour all year around like top selling fragrances because during candle day that's usually like somewhere in the december area and you're usually stocking up for candles to use like further into the spring season so that's why a lot of times those candle day releases will be like spring fragrances or all year around universal fragrances so then you can stock up on a universal fragrance for like eight nine ten dollars or whatever it is instead of just being stuck to just the december christmas one so there's that but well a lot of rambling like totally gone off track but yeah so anywho the first yeah the first candle that I was supposed to be hauling is peppermint sugar cookie right there um yeah super cute a uh, font and graphics it's funny because like i used i was making graphics for work uh for the christmas season and i used this exact font of the sugar cookie and that was like months ago mind you um and they're using the same one so i'm like oh i like totally totally uh, approve of that font because i use it in my own designs uh but anywho Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies with essential oils. And I was like, oh God, what is this going to be? Every year there's a new peppermint fragrance. And every year you got to like pull out your whole stash of like 5,001 peppermint mint fragrances that they've uh, put out before and do the compare and contrast just to get it out of your system. And yeah, this is very 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 close to peppermint marshmallow which i don't actually have one in my collection anymore but i have burned plenty of them the issue with peppermint marshmallow but it's such a top seller which is what i don't understand i understand because the fragrance is great but the candle always gives me nothing but issues every single year but it's such a top seller so it just goes to show you that you can put out a crap candle and people still buy it that one gets so like murky and gross super weak uh, like you know it just duds out with the smallest little flames it's usually because vanilla a marshmallow type of fragrance oils are really hard to wick and uh you know make candles with and that's why that usually does that same with that's why vanilla bean marshmallow and van vanilla pumpkin marshmallow do the same exact thing because it's that vanilla marshmallow fragrance oil and those usually tend to not burn as great because vanilla is very finicky when it comes to candle making um and so peppermint marshmallow every single year i would try and buy and i'm just like this is always like such a crap candle it always numbs out gets brown and murky maybe some people are just not so particular about it so they just keep it burning and just don't care if it has puny wicks or if it's turned brown or murky but every single year it does that i'm just like i don't get any satisfaction out of this but people love that one so then there's peppermint sugar cookie here it's very similar to peppermint marshmallow but there is a ever so slightly more buttery component to it rather than just a pure fluffy white marshmallow there is a very subtle buttery i can't really say crusty or cookie it's nowhere near as like heavy as like mary cookie is in terms of that like ooey gooey butter that smells like movie theater like popcorn butter that it almost like turns salty it's not at all strong like that there is just a very 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 subtle uh like buttery quality to it the buttercream mint candle which when i i just smelled that recently but during my move i think i gave it off to my parents so i don't have it to compare right now in my current stash but i remember that one is a little bit more heavy on like a buttercream fragrance rather than just like butter that you would use in a cookie there's a little bit more of a buttercream fragrance and it had almost like a slightly milky dairy component to it uh that one was decent it is similar to this in from a marshmallow it's like just ever so slight tweaks that i'm just like oh it's just another peppermint fragrance um but yeah, this is like they took peppermint marshmallow and just added maybe a hint of butter to it. But the sugar cookie component is not very strong. So don't expect like Mary cookie mixed with uh, twisted peppermint or peppermint marshmallow. It's a little bit more subdued than that. Uh, but I think it's still di di ever so slightly different than the other ones that it still might be a new fragrance. Uh, but still very similar peppermint marshmallow vanilla blend that we get from BBW. Yeah, peppermint creamy butter, vanilla, and shaft sugar cookies. Yeah, the sugar cookies are very subtle, so I'll have to see how this burns, and hopefully it doesn't dead out. It has the core wicks that you see here. Um, those 
usually tend to make mushroom tops, so I'm hoping that this will burn fine and won't dud out. Whereas peppermint marshmallow usually has the thick rope like wicks that nub out to like little tiny little nubs. Uh, so fingers crossed, uh, but we'll see how this goes and hopefully I'll report back on it. So peppermint sugar cookie right there. Uh, quick comparisons just so this isn't a super long review. Uh, chocolate peppermint cream right here. This was last year. I actually really like this one. There is no chocolate, at least in my opinion, to this. And remember, like, candle and fragrance reviews are so incredibly subjective. Like, people are going to interpret the same fragrance a million different ways. Uh, when you, like, see my reviews or just any review in general, just know that the environment and the atmosphere that you're burning the candles in has such an effect on how the candle performs. Do you have high ceilings? Do you have low ceilings? Is it, is it open concept? Is it a small room? Are you stuffed up that day? Is the air conditioning going? Is the ceiling fan going? Is there a draft? Like that's why candles and just fragrance in general is very, very, very subjective. So just because like I say one thing, that doesn't mean it's the end all be all. It's just like, please just use it as a loose guideline on how the candle may be. And if you collect many reviews that sort of line up in that same kind of way, then okay, maybe it is generally rather light or rather strong. Or like, let's say you normally agree with my opinions or views from other previous videos, then there's a good chance you might still agree with what I'm talking about in a current review review. So just putting that out there, um, yeah, fragrance is just very, very, very subjective. And I've come to realize that candles in different environments perform differently. So it is what it is. But chocolate peppermint cream, yeah, peppermint sugar cookie doesn't have chocolate in it. This most certainly does. I love this one. It was strong. It was heavy. It was intense. This smells like hot fudge sundae, the piping hot, like ooey gooey fudge that you like pour over like mint ice cream. That is what this smelled like. And I loved it. And it was unique in the sense that chocolate was so distinctly that hot fudge sundae chocolate note uh, mixed with like a mint cream, mint ice cream blend. So it's not this. Uh, we have mint chocolate. This is more like your Andes, like candy. It has that sort of like waxy quality to it. Uh, so it's not that that has chocolate in it. We have, of course, crushed candy cane right here. Uh, no, this has that like distinctly like chalky, powdery, like the candy cane texture that distinctly smells like a candy cane rather than just like a mint or peppermint cream. This has that like dry candy cane, almost like chalky component to it. So it's not this either. Uh, we also have white mint latte. This has that sort of like weird and musky latte note to it. It almost smells like body care. This one was always striking me as really weird. Uh, and this one has like an implied chocolate latte note that peppermint sugar cookie doesn't. Uh, of course, I don't have peppermint marshmallow, but I do have marshmallow peppermint, which was the original Slack and Co one here. It's not this, this is totally different. They don't even use this uh, marshmallow fragrance anymore. This marshmallow fragrance was similar to the like, the OG frosted cupcake before it turned into like burnt sugar cookies. It was sort of like a more like a cupcake batter, like vanilla batter type of fragrance to it. This has that in it, which is not even in rotation anymore, uh, mixed with a peppermint fragrance. It's not at all this, but it, this is kind of similar to marshmallow peppermint peppermint marshmallow, which is a new version. So that's probably enough about one candle, but I just wanted to get that out of the way. I already referenced buttercream mint. Uh, I'm sure there's another mint one that I'm missing, but whatever. Um, sick of just the Christmas stuff. I'm not sick of it, but it's just, there's nothing new in that in any of the collection. So I was just like, let me pick up this pumpkin clove uh, and call it a day, use my 10 off 30 survey coupon. Totally old news. Uh, this is clove buds, ground cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg, fresh pumpkin with essential oils. Mm, this one's so freaking juicy though. This came out last year, I believe, when, like when the Perfect Autumn first came out as well. Uh, it was a brand new fragrance and we're like, is this just gonna be sweet cinnamon pumpkin boring action? No, this is like the perfect pumpkin spice fragrance. It's so creamy and there's a very creamy, juicy uh, <laughs> quality to it, which is weird to call pumpkin juicy, but there is. It's like if you took the most delicious, juicy, like smooth, uh, like craft store, craft store, like Michael's, that potpourri type of like, it smells like the craft store experience that you get. Oh, it's just simply excellent. Uh, but the last year's, was it last year? Maybe it was the year before that. I don't even know. The year it came out, it was good for the first two burns. It was so strong. It was amazing. I was like all about it. But then the third, fourth, and fifth burn, it just like totally dudded out on me. Uh, smelled burnt. I got no throw from it anymore. And the wicks just totally nubbed out. 
This unfortunately looks like it has the same wicks and the same color wax, so I don't have high hopes. This is an old candle though, or like old in terms of like social media. So if you already burned this one, like burned it for more than once and actually burned it like all the way down or to the mid range point, please let me know how the performance is, whether or not this has actually improved this year um, or whether or not it still continues to dud out in the same fashion that the last year's version did. So that was Pumpkin Clove right there. Um, Use my survey coupon to now 30 and call it a day. And then moving on, yeah, so um, I was on the hunt for this Banana Maple Pancakes candle when I went to Ulta previously in my previous video, uh, but I couldn't find Banana Maple Pancakes, so I was just like, okay, I'll just look for it somewhere else. Um, and literally, like, I tracked down one store in, like, driving distance, and there's, like, a crap load of Ulta's in my area, and, like, they were all sold out because this was very popular, and uh, it's been out for a while. I'm just sort of late to the party. Um, and I finally called and found a store that had it, and it was, like, literally just one lone one there that I was able to pick up, and I grabbed it. Um, and no other Ulta stores, like, in my area have it at all. Um, so, of course, yes, I get the banana, banana maple pancakes right here, and that's what this looks like, uh, and that and this right here. This was like probably my favorite fragrance from that first season of Homeworks back when I was like totally gonna ho about Homeworks. Um, and I loved it to pieces. Um, but there were issues as they still are issues with Homeworks with the performance um, where it was a three wakes. That one like you would have to pull it out for like a good four or five hours for it to pull out. But then by the mid range point it would like really start tunneling and the throw on it was just substantially weaker than what I had wanted, but it was still nice in a small room and I was still willing to put up with it because the fragrance was so gorgeous. It's like the most authentic, like realistic mashed banana fragrance, not the Laffy Tarfy uh, artificial kind, mixed which is a very juicy, awesome, like just a buttermilk pancake, but not overly sweet or cloying like a pumpkin pecan waffles or a BBW gourmand fragrance can be, mixed with, once again, another very subtly but authentically nice a uh, caramel and maple blend that was infused in here. It was absolutely delicious. Like just gourmand fragrances like taken to the next level seriously. <laughs> um, this and the hot cider donut I had really grown to like. And I was like, I really want to try a four week version of it. And so when I went to the initial Ulta, they were out of it completely, even though it said it was in stock online. So I was happy to finally find this one. So that's what this was. Um, and this was fluffy pancakes, mashed bananas, made melted, butter, ma melted butter and maple drizzle. Mm. Still very light though, so I'm afraid that this is going to be light. The thing is, the reason I started buying Homeworks again was because there were so many wick issues. Like, at the beginning of Homeworks, they had the three wicks. Those didn't pull out properly and took, like, forever to pull out. And I had a lot of issues in the first season. Then they, like, perfected the three wick candle in that spring season with, like, Enchanted Peony and with Syria Vine. Those were excellent, except they just took, like, maybe more like three hours to pull out. But, like, those wicks were just great. Like, they were still made in the USA. Just, like, if you gave it the three hours to burn out, it would be a flawless burn. But there was a lot of complaints or a lot of uh, feedback saying that it would be nice to have a faster burning candle. Which, in hindsight, ugh, wish that wasn't the feedback that I had given. Uh, because, little did we know, that the three-wick ones were actually pretty excellent. Uh, so then they switched to the four-wick ones. But then they switched to production in Vietnam. And then the first, in the first phase of those candles just dudded out, like, crazy those vietnam ones were just awful oh my god like the glit the that striped glitter packaging like through the woods or whatever the heck that was and the poached pear one uh, like you would just light it and it immediately just nub out like absolutely no satis like you literally just threw 40 dollars down the drain because they just don't perform as a candle you would have to chunk it up as a wax melt so there was that and then they sort of like Overfix that issue and then started over wicking the candles so then the candles had these huge massive wicks in them but then they soot it like crazy and then so it would burn so hot and fast uh that it would soot so much or the wicks would make such massive mushroom tops that they would fall into the wax or they would detach from the wick clips it's just a nightmare just all over the place it was just like one extreme to the other extreme it was just like it, it was such a shame because homeworks makes such great fragrances but the candle and the performance part just took a massive hit and i was just like girl i'm so over this like spending all this money on these candles uh that constantly like either dud out because they're under wicked or they sit like crazy or do those crazy hot things uh because they're over wicked. so i'm just like oh my god so then i took a break for a little bit and then went to ulta yesterday started burning them and pleasantly surprised by the improvements. I do have to say largely 
They are much lighter than I had remembered. Even previous fragrances that were strong, really strong, are not nearly as strong. But the wick issues as a trade-off seem to have been fixed a little bit uh, in the sense that they take longer to pull out now, similar to how like the three wick ones pull out, um, but they don't soot. So I can actually have them burning for like four or five hours and enjoy the fragrance in a small room. Uh, and I'm not afraid of it sooting and putting like black so all over my walls and lungs and the ceilings. Um, and I don't have to blow it out after two hours or because the jar gets too hot or because the, the wicks get too heavy and they fall in or whatever. So that was a good trade off. So I'm still testing them out to see if the performance, like the throw on it is still satisfactory. I put in an open concept area, like I have sugar beignets going right now and I can't smell it at all, even though in my previous place with the original hobnail one that was so strong that I just couldn't get enough of it. It was just like filled the entire area. But this new version is nowhere near as strong. But if I put it into a smaller bedroom, then like it's the most delicious, most amazing authentic fragrance that I can get a light to medium throw out of. So it's like a trade-off, which is always the case with candles. Um, but excited that I can actually burn these candles without worrying about the soot issue or the falling wicks or them dudding out. Uh, they just take longer to pull out, so I'm hoping that they don't dud out come mid-range if the wicks start getting like really nubby and deteriorated. Uh, so that's why I bought this banana, banana maple pancakes to see if I had any improvements from it, and we'll see it. So that was my long-winded uh, description of why uh, the homework's performance issues and why I've like started revisiting them again, uh, hoping that, yeah, these... Yeah, this one's still so much lighter than the original one, so I don't know. We'll see. I think the consensus was that this one was still light and still had performance issues, so I don't know. It's always a roller coaster with homework, so. Uh, banana maple pancakes right there. Um, and I believe that is it. Yeah, I feel like I just rambled my head off. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.